What's up everyone, Dev here from my automation tip. Uh, today bringing you a, a due date automation with some conditions. Um, this allows for repeating and creating items and the uh, due date being automatically set based on like a field or a criteria that you set up. So it could be like today plus five days and every item that gets created has a due date set to the same thing. All right, here we go. We're gonna do, going to automate top right corner of the screen again. We're gonna add a new automation from the button in the top right. For our trigger, we're gonna select item is created. And then this is where we wanna start using conditions. So in uh, custom automations, you can add conditions, which is really nice. So by pressing the little plus sign on the right hand side of your uh, trigger, You then get a few options for some conditions. And this is what I mean about like having numbers, columns, and status columns. You can really do some uh, clever tricks uh, with some, uh, some of these conditions here. So in this case, we're gonna use status. From the status dropdown, we're gonna select due date condition. And you can see you can choose is or is not. In this case, we can go is plus five days the second drop down and we wanted to and this is where it gets a bit confusing you got to set the date first so we're going to set date from the date drop down we're going to select due date this time to today and then we're going to press the plus sign to the right hand side of that action because we wanted to push that date by five days so we're going to go plus we're going to type in push in the search field and we're going to select push date. Then from the due date drop down, we're going to select due date. And then by some days drop down, you can actually select. So we're going to enter in five in this case. And from the drop second drop down option, you can just select months, weeks, days, or business days. And we're going to set that. Then we're going to click Create Automation. And then we're going to do the same again for the uh, two weeks. Now, the reason I wanted to add two is so you can see the duplication option. So in this case, uh, we're going to take our top one, go to the three dots on the right hand side. Then we're going to select Duplicate Automation from the drop down. And you can see it's kind of repeated our entire automation. So we're gonna, from here, choose plus two weeks as a condition. And then from our five days action here, we're instead gonna put two. And from the second drop down, we're gonna select weeks. And then we're gonna click set. And then we're gonna click create automation. We get in the pattern now. Then we can click the little X in the top right corner of the screen. All right, so my recurring task one, uh, I'm gonna recreate it just for uh, example's sake. I'm gonna select that, I'm gonna put plus five days. And I'm gonna duplicate it. And when it gets created, we're gonna get our create date, we're gonna get our due date that is set to our create date plus five days. I'm gonna duplicate items. There we go. You can see we have our copy over here, create date, and then our uh, due date. That is set to today plus five days. If we had it on two weeks, and we duplicate this task over here. There you go. You have the task created as a copy. Then we have today's date, and then that plus two weeks. All right, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It'd go a long way for me. I'm gonna have more of these videos and this is part of a uh, series around um, repeating items and automations around that. So uh, stay tuned for some more videos and the uh, full length video coming out soon. All right, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.